Today we're going to talk about these two orange nail guns that I just picked up. This one right here is a framing nail gun and this one right here is a finish nail gun. Now this one right here, you might be asking yourself, why do you need a framing gun? Um, well, we're going to be doing a little bit of different jobs coming up where we're going to need one of these and I really have always wanted one. Just, you know, why not? You know, why not have a framing nail gun? But we are going to need one of these and then this one right here, Obviously right now we use the uh, Milwaukee 18 gauge, but I've always wanted to try this one. So when I bought this one, I was, you know, sitting there contemplating this one because it was right next to it. I stood there for a really long time and finally I was just like, well, <laughs> let's just get it. Let's, you know, why not? So I got it and then everything here you see I'm in about $800 and, you know, a little over $800 on this system. So Ashley, if you're watching this, I, I'm very sorry. And you say, well, why, why do you keep calling him the Orange Nail Gun Company? Why aren't you saying the name of the company? We can read it right there on the box. Well, let me tell you a little something about YouTube. We'll just go on, off on this little rabbit trail real quick. You know, they don't sponsor this channel. And until they do, they're gonna be known as the Orange Nail Gun Company because they're not there when I'm spending $800 on nail guns. They're not there when I'm fighting with my wife. And they're definitely not there when I barely have enough to scrape by to feed my children at the end of the week. So you, you know the thing. All right guys, obviously I'm just joking with all that nonsense. If you're new around here, I, I apologize. There could be a pretty dry sense of humor sometimes, but uh, the part that's not a joke is this is not sponsored. I did buy these and these are pass load nail guns. I'll go ahead and say the name now. They're known for being the lightest weight nailers in the industry. There's no question there. There's not even a close uh, second there. I mean, these things are super lightweight and they accomplish that by using uh, gas cartridges that you have to buy. So there's, you know, pros and cons to everything. So uh, yeah, they do that with the gas cartridge and a really small battery. So a pretty cool system that they have here and we're gonna get into it, kind of the pros and cons of this whole pass load system. They give us some documentation. Here's the uh, two year promise, which is great. Anything goes wrong in two years, they will take care of it. Here's the nail gun itself. And this thing is just super lightweight, which is why I love pass load. This one right here, if you compare it to the Milwaukee framing nailer, it's about half the weight. So pretty big difference there. That's where these things really come through. So the weight was my first thing I liked about it. And then the second thing, was the smell because when you load up one of these gas cartridges and start blasting nails in, I mean, it feels like you're back on the range. There's a little bit of a recoil. I mean, you get this smell of gas. It just makes you feel good to just use gas and just freaking shoot with it. I don't know why, it's just, maybe it's like an American thing. We just like to shoot guns, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it smells good. Here's our charger. They give us one battery. We'll just pop that in there, throw it on the charger. They give you safety glasses, and then they give you a little tool so you can change the back here. Uh, this filter right here has to be cleaned, and there's some other maintenance that has to be done, which I know a lot of people don't like. Pass load for that reason. You know, these fuel cartridges are not cheap. These are like 10 bucks for one. But if you really look at the whole thing, you pass this cost on to the customer and it's not much more. So, you know, two trim uh, fuel cells for like that gun is like, what was this, like $16? I mean, I can add another $16 to my quote to cover the cost of these. It's really not a big deal. So that's the biggest complaint and then the maintenance. But let me throw this on the charger. Pretty basic unboxing. I'm not really into unboxing things. We'll put that one away for now. I'll charge the battery and then we'll uh, pop this uh, finished nailer open. This finished nail gun is gonna be, I mean, basically the same thing um, as far as the unboxing goes. It's gonna be the nail gun with the charger and the glasses. And I made a mistake here. <laughs> I only have one little clip on here. There was another gun, uh, gun there. I should have got the one that had the clip, but not that big of a deal. And then here is the gun itself. And I'll tell you, this thing is super, super lightweight. I, I keep coming back to that because that is important. Using that Milwaukee, and I love that Milwaukee, don't get me wrong. I, I do think it is a better gun than this. Um, this thing is just so light. 
I mean, you cannot beat that with, with pass load. You're gonna get lighter guns. Um, it has a rafter hook right here, which obviously with a finished nail gun, it's not like you're really gonna be up on rafters and stuff, but if you wanted to, there it is. You could just hook it in there. And then also has a, if you flip it back the other way, it has a more low profile where you could just throw that on your tool belt or on your belt or whatever. But yeah, just first impression, this thing is lightweight and just, just feels like a joy to use. I'm looking forward to shooting it right now for you guys. Uh, first impression of this tip. This tip is a little big, this nose right here. A lot, sm a lot smaller was the Milwaukee one, which I'm used to. And you know, I'm not really into that, but it is what it is. We'll see how it goes. And then one thing that's kind of weird is the nails. Like, this is kind of goofy. These are the nails, like they're short. You're gonna have to reload these things often. This is like half the size of a typical rack of nails. So you could put this in here like that. And that, even that's kind of weird. This thing kind of gets in the way right there, that little edge right there. So I guess you just put it here and slide it up. And then, you know, you're gonna have to be reloading twice as much. But I guess what they were thinking is without that, you know, extra magazine length down here, you could get it into tighter places. So. I don't know it, if that's really going to be uh, a big deal for me. I haven't really noticed that with the Milwaukee, which has a longer magazine to take a full rack of nails. But that's what their engineers came up with. So let me go ahead and throw this on the charger, this battery too. And I think these are the same batteries for the framing and finish gun. But we'll get them charged up and shoot some nails. All right, so our batteries are charged up. And these batteries are the exact same for the finish and frame gun. So if you just pop it in one time, it's kind of a standby mode to just hold the battery. And then if you slide it up, it comes on and you get this little light flashing here. So I really don't want to shoot into my little cut hub work table here. And this is the only piece of lumber I have that's anything in relation to framing lumber and trim. I don't have any trim. I just went to the county dump and threw everything away because we're moving all my little scrap uh, pile. But I have this piece of cherry back here and it's what we're gonna have to use for both guns. So we're gonna shoot into this as our test piece and see how it does. All right, here we go. First nail with the new pass load, well, new to me, pass load 18 gauge ultralight, I'll call it. So let's go. That's pretty crazy. Wow, that brings back memories. It has a, a bit more, there's no kickback to it at all. The 16 gauge I remember had a little bit of a kickback. This one is just really precise. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, this thing, it, ha it has a louder like sound to it. Like the blast of the gun is definitely louder than the Milwaukee. I'll grab the Milwaukee real quick actually. We'll compare them. Yeah, this one's definitely louder um, for sure. So yeah, it and it's sinking all of these two inch nails into this piece of cherry, which is pretty impressive. I really didn't, don't want to shoot into this piece of cherry, but I'm just going to try to shoot in like the last two inches of it so I can just cut that off. All right, here's the pass load 18 gauge up close for you. So one thing about this thing, there is no bump fire. So as each time I engage the nose of it, I have to pull the trigger individually whereas like the milwaukee here it has a bump fire mode you can see it right there and you just hold the trigger and that thing just goes to town too two really good guns uh, first impression of this one it's gonna win for me i'm gonna keep it just because i love how miniature and lightweight it is that is a win so Definitely a solid tool right here. And generally with our gun, 
like with the, you know, with this, we keep it on that bump fire, but it's not so we can just blast away like this. It's just more convenient to hold your hand on the uh, trigger and then push the gun into it. So for us, it's not a thing of speed. It's more of a thing of just, you know, not pulling that trigger every single time. Because really with finish work, you're not gonna be just blasting away like that. Um, so this one, while you do have to pull the trigger each time and there's no bump fire, you really, the speed is irrelevant, at least to me, because I'm not blasting away like that. I guess time will tell if this thing is gonna just, you know, hold up because it is brand new and these things are a little bit more high maintenance. But yeah, we'll see. I'm looking forward to uh, having this thing in the arsenal. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop our battery into our pass load framer. We got our light on right there. I don't know if you can see that. But with this one, you just push in and then you get that sound and then pull the trigger. Gives you a nice shot. That one has a nice, nice recoil to it. Cherry, um, you know, obviously not a framing lumber, but it's what I have right here. So that's what we're using. So it works pretty good. And this one, again, it doesn't have a bump fire. So this one is gonna be used each time you pull the trigger, which I know for framing, that might be a deal breaker for some people who want that bump fire feature so they can just hold the trigger and go to town and get some work done. But for me, for how much I'm gonna use this gun, it's, it's totally fine. So let's shoot a few more of these and see how she does. Yeah, you can see these nail guns. I mean, they just do the job. All those nails are sinking just below the surface. Um, all those brad nails are sinking from both guns. Both guns are just great. Um, this one right here uh, is sticking out because that was when I was on that bump fire mode on the Milwaukee and I was just going crazy, giving an example. But yeah, these tools these days, I mean, they're just crazy. They just allow you to perform the task so much more convenient, so much better, and it's it's just a joy. They're a pleasure to use, especially these this gun right here that gives you a recoil. It, it just feels good. Then you smell the gas. Man, these are a joy to use. This one too, I mean, it's low maintenance. This one's always gonna have a place in our job site. So there you have it. These two things, um, <laughs> I'm happy with the purchase that I made on these two things. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. This gun right here should last me uh, my lifetime for how much I'm gonna be using a framing gun. And then this one, this one will go through the ringer. Uh, we use 18 gauge a lot. You can see this thing has been abused and used like it should be, and it's still good to go. And for those of you who still use a compressor, don't feel bad. I still use a compressor too. You can see I have my hoses over there and then I got my uh, Milwaukee cordless compressor right here. And uh, I'll use that still, like I'll use that to air up a football or a basketball or if the truck gets uh, low on air on one of the tires, I'll still use it. But when it comes to nail guns, I mean, this is, this is the way to go, cordless and gas powered.